What I have as air cannon targets for today's video are a couple of high voltage capacitors that failed in my Marx generator. These were in the voltage doubler power supply. They're rather old capacitors that had seen a lot of abuse, so I guess they were ready to fail, but they're now useless as anything but air cannon targets. I've set up the fire extinguisher CO2 tank and solenoid valve air cannon with the 72 inch caliber 812 barrel. I will be pressurizing to between 4 and 500 psi to fire 900 grain hard cast alloy lead slugs at these capacitors. Distance will be 10 meters. Here's the first capacitor set up as a target on a block of wood 10 meters downrange, the other capacitors beside it on the floor. Steel plates form a backstop to prevent the slugs from doing any harm to anything else in my machine shop. Let's go make the shot at the first capacitor. Well, that knocked everything down, but I think I shot low. Let's try again. Let's take yet another shot. I think I finally got my center of mass hit. I got a good sender of capacitor shot that destroyed finally the first capacitor, so number two is now set up, and we'll take a shot at it. Looks like number two disappeared. Although number two went flying, I only took the right-hand side of it, so there's plenty left for another shot. Hmm. 
Uh, number two went flying that time. A good two-thirds of this capacitor is still left, so I'll try another shot. Here's the aftermath of air cannoning two capacitors. Uh, some of the recovered slugs can be seen uh, on top of the remains of one of the capacitors. Depending on what they hit in the backstop after the capacitor, some of them were shredded apart, and one of them at the top left seemed to take very little damage and can probably be fired again. Thanks for watching, and as always, there'll be plenty more video to come.